We are now exactly one week out from the test weekend and we have an uphill task against us. It's, it's not just that manufacturing, we have tasks in different teams and they have to come together at the same time to make it happen. So that is what we are aiming for. Now I'm going to start to charge. Temperature should show me that everything is right here and then some redundant temperature sensors over here. And the discharge is going to be a little more exciting. But that just means that the graphs are going to look a little bit different. There's a lot of uh, collaboration involved, so it has been really good. And people have stepped up to the responsibility, to the challenge of the last 15 days. I'm seeing people who have day jobs, who have to who have their kids or their families, but they're still here late until night like two or three in the morning so which is really amazing you do your best to you know preemptively do things to avoid problems but something comes up and so i fully anticipate that the first day is going to be one thing after the other after the other after the other with an objective in mind and that's the most important thing because we're going down there with, a, with some pretty clear objectives. Safety is the number one priority. We will be giving a demonstration and presentation about how the pod works, and hopefully we'll get a lot of good feedback from SpaceX. So the last few days have been focused on uh, the software integration and making sure that all of the, the systems in our pod start to work together. Um, it's not been without its problems, of course, uh, as is always this, this final integration phase, but. Um, but look, we've got a fair amount of, of things working and um, we're going to go down tomorrow and sort of have a bit of a, an experience on a real, like, short track. Yeah, so right now we're at the Airbnb near Venice, California, and we're waiting for our team to come back from SpaceX because they've been testing all day. We were in a vacuum chamber, I think, and lots of troubleshooting, and we haven't really heard much, but uh, we'll see what they say when they come back. It'll be interesting. How was the testing? Yeah, I mean, comparing to like other teams, I think, I think we're going at it real strong. This is the test tractor building behind the SpaceX facility. It's a mile long. Just see it go for almost forever and just think that the thing we build will have to go through <laughs> all of that in a matter of seconds. So right now it's 7 o'clock uh, on the last day of test weekend. They are still uh, doing running some final tests. So far all of the feedback seems to be good and we've gotten uh, quite a lot of data to sift through once we get done. The pusher plate, nap plate, pusher plate, that needs to be redone. Yeah. The good thing is it's easy to swap out. The rest of the thing, I mean, it looks pretty good, just some, some stuff looks right, but it's very happy overall. That was tough. Yeah. Tough two days. First thing I asked Ryan when we finally got in, I asked him, we did our best, right? He didn't know what I actually meant, but I was super scared that uh, we just, that they were gonna say we were not ready for it to be able to test. That's what I was most afraid of, that we wasted all this time for nothing. But it turns out we're one of the better teams. So I'm super excited because of that. As Elon Musk said, if something is important enough, you do it, it doesn't matter how, how the odds are. So even if it seems impossible, you have to do it if you believe in it. E exhausting experience, exhausting experience. I'm still, my brain is still fried from the, the no sleep in the Los Angeles sun but it uh, made me much more comfortable on the overall uh, that all part is sound. The way we're doing it sounds good. No, we need to rush and finish the thing because we still have a lot to do.